Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'd like to show you how to create custom KPI cards in Power BI. These cards actually rely on layering a few different visuals on top of each other and a bit of clever DAX to achieve their look. So let's hop into Power BI and see how I made these. So this card here is in fact two different visuals that have been layered in here that have been set on top of each other. There's an actual spark line here and a card that is behind it. So what I've done, if I go ahead and show you this one first, the sparkline, which is the easier one, we can see that that is in fact utilizing something called Sparkline by OKViz, OK which is a custom visual you can download from the marketplace. Just to give you some context here, that marketplace, if you want to download that is from here, and this visual is free to use. And that basically gives us this little line here. And all I've done is just gone ahead and added that in there. I've resized a little bit. One of the things that I do like to add to the line is just turning on that area. But that's about it. The only things I really added in here was putting month and year on axis just to give it the trend itself and then page views under values. And then just make sure that I have the background turned off so it doesn't accidentally color in anything that's behind it. So it has a nice clear translucent background to it. Now the other thing that is important to do with that is just in the selection pane, just make sure that the spark line is in front of it because if I have that set behind, then as you see it will hide. So it's important that you have the selection pane layered correctly with these. Now the more complex one here is the card itself. Let me go ahead and copy and paste this so we can see that over here, get rid of that selection pane. Now what I've done is something clever to scoot this text up here to the top. So if I come over to the format painter, you'll notice that my category label is actually turned on. And if I open it up, you will see that I've set the color to white. So if I change this back to black, you will see that technically the title is down there. So what I've essentially used is I've used that category label as a way given the font size to kind of push this card up to the top towards that title, given just enough room and allowing this spark line to kind of show up there when I layer it. So that's why I use the category label because there's no actual way to take the data label down here itself and choose the orientation vertically, but using the category label that achieves the same effect. Now, the last thing that I did in here that I really like is I have a little KPI visual in here that renders either an increase or decrease chart graph depending on if the most recent month was a increase or decrease. Depending on if the most recent month had a net gain compared to the last month or a negative. So I'll show you how I did that over here in my fields list. So in my DAX table right here, I have a month over month percentage value that was created. And that was created using a quick measure. So to create that itself, to be able to determine whether or not that KPI needs to be flagged as going up or down, I went into here, I selected month over month change, and all I added in here was page views to my base value, in this case, the measure that you're wanting to analyze. And then in my date range, I just added the date down there. So that basically just looks at the date itself and then page views and, and automatically generates a DAX measure that will give you that month over month percentage value. And if I look over here, that's the measure that was created. Go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. There we are. And it basically does the um, division to give us that percentage. And then the actual KPI card itself. Now in the measure itself, what I have over here is a couple of variables at the top. So to actually get the current month percentage that I want to be able to determine if I need the chart increase or decrease icon, I wrapped the month over month percentage in a calculate function and I utilize these things called offsets that are in my calendar table that anchors it to any particular month. So in this case, month offset equals zero is a relative date filter that will always make sure that this calculation is calculating just for the current month. So it will always give me that current month percentage. And then down here, I'm using Unicar because DAX can actually return symbols from the Unicar list. And I have two in here for a chart increase and a chart decrease. Now what those have done is down here in a switch statement, I check to see that if my current month percentage is greater than or equal to zero, I'm doing a concatenation where I format the number to have it return as a comma separated uh, value in here. And then I concatenate that with a space and as well as the chart increase. And the same thing is if this condition is not met, that I come down here and I do that same thing with this one as well. And that's basically just my chart decrease in there. And that combined will give me that number plus either an increase or decrease just depending on the trend of my data. So I have both this icon plus the actual spark line itself. And that's really all there is to it. It's about three things total that I've done in there. I've taken the card, formatted that a bit, 
Also created some switch statements to allow me to add a KPI icon in there, and that can be anything you want. You can have that as an up or a down arrow. Any symbol in the Unicar language can be rendered here. So you have a lot of freedom to choose the type of icons you want to use. And lastly, I just go ahead and put in that little sparkline thing down here at the bottom, and then that gives it that nice trend line that I want into to convey as well with the data. And that about covers it. So if you liked this video, please go ahead and click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say or have a suggestion for another video, please add that to the comment section. And if this is your first time here or you want to see more videos, please click that subscribe and bell button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.